Hello, it's Schleb, and today I'm going to be opening a Final Fantasy trading card game starting pack and two card packs. I'm really excited. These card packs, I believe, are Opus 6. I'll have to double check that, but they just came out yesterday, and I'm really excited. I'm going to be the first to say here right now, putting it on the record, I don't know that much about Final Fantasy trading card game stuff, so... This is definitely new to me, but I'm trying to learn. I've been watching a lot of YouTube content, but sadly the community on YouTube is not all that big. There's definitely content creators I have subscribed to that still consistently post content for FFTCG, but yeah, there's definitely room for more. <laughs> So yeah, I've been really wanting to get into it and I really need someone to play with me and help me learn. So I'm trying to figure all that out. Haven't, haven't done it yet, but whenever that happens, I want to make it into a video of my first FFTCG game. Cause like, I like Pokemon. That's actually what, okay. Weird roundabout story, but for about a year now, I've been watching a lot of Pokemon content when it comes to TCG. I love card pack openings. I think they're a lot of fun. I think they're super enjoyable to watch. I mainly just watch Frosted Caribou. I think she is super enjoyable and just has so much energy that I love and I really vibe with her. So please check her out if you're into um, Pokemon card pack openings. She's super lovely. I got really into that and even started getting some of my own Pokemon TCG cards in Japan. But like, I'm not super into Pokemon. I don't really care for Pokemon, not gonna lie. So I then discovered that Final Fantasy had their own freaking TCG. And so back in May of this year, I actually got the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Cloud and Sephiroth deck. And I actually have an opening of that video. Like I have a video of me opening up the starter decks. I think I may upload it, but the mic audio got a little, it's a little rough. So I don't know if I'm gonna upload it, but yeah, so it brings us here today, so I'm really excited. So I'm trying to get more decks and more stuff to get excited so that when I uh, get back next year, I will be knowledgeable about the game and then I can just dive in with the community. I don't want to have them, I don't want to wait a year to learn, okay? I do know that buying card packs is not the way to play FFTCG and I don't want to look naive in doing this, but um, people do it for Pokemon. Why can't I do it for FTCG? It's all, it's all fun and games, okay? All right, it's all fun and games, so we're here. This is the box I flipped over because I didn't, uh, like, X out my address stuff, so I'm gonna open that. I need a pair of scissors. Hold on. I'm super excited. So I already have the Final Fantasy VII remake villain and hero deck, which is Cloud and Sephiroth. Um, I opened that and I have a video. I don't know if I'm gonna upload it though. <laughs> I probably will, just not anytime soon, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. When I was talking to people in my Discord about the game and playing, they all said that the best decks were the 2000, is it 18? I think 2018, Final Fantasy 14 deck with Minfilia on it is one of the best starting decks as well as Final Fantasy Type to Zero. Those two are like the best starting decks out currently. So, oh, yay! How exciting! So I got these packs, which I will save for the end. Um, these are the Opus, oh, 12, not even six. I butchered that. There's so many of these Opus um, series, numbered series. <laughs> Like I'm, so, I'm so fresh and new, but I got two packs because I don't have the money right now to throw at a booster box. So maybe one day I will, but I currently don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these aside, we'll open them at the end. And we're gonna open up, oh gosh, okay, let me turn it right here. I don't know if there's me any information. I'm sure it's just the receipt, but I ain't, we ain't risking that biscuit. But here we have the 2018 Final Fantasy 14 starter deck with Minifilia on it. And I love Final Fantasy 14. If you don't know me, hi, this is your first video ever. Uh, I play Final Fantasy 14. That's like my main shindig that I do on Twitch and uh, here on YouTube and other stuff, I guess. But mainly 14, okay? So I will know all these characters. Oh, I hope. I should know all these characters. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited um to open this and hopefully play with it this is like my
my daily mouse pad <laughs> that I use like every day to like, you know, your girl's gonna have some drinks and your girl is gonna make a mess and it's gonna keep make this stuff. That's what happens when you buy light colored things in general. I have learned my lesson. I will get a darker colored one in the future, but I like this one for now. And I like ice cream. Ice cream is yummy. And I used to be sea salt salty, so on brand. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be opening up the starter deck first and I'm so excited and I really hope my audio ain't good. Let's get into the card deck opening. What I love about 14 uh, product is that there's not a lot of plastic. It's just very minimal. There's not like a whole lot going on with it. And I love that um, with Pokemon, they have a ton of plastic, ton of extra junk and garbage. And I'm definitely not like a minimalist by any means. However, I do like when it, it's, it, when it when you, if you kind of minimize it to just what you need in a box, please and thank you. That's all I ask for, so. Anywho get out the deck so the box can be eaten and let's get out <gasps> Minfilia do you guys hate Minfilia I know she's like kind of like either like you absolutely love her or you hate her with your entire being there's like not really an in between so you know so in here we have put that to the side this is how to play. Oh gosh, is that like stained or is that just, okay, I think that's like a map. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, so this is how to play in English. So I live in Japan, as I said earlier. On the Square website, you either buy it in Japanese or English and you do pay extra for English. So thank the Lord that um, I have this in English because this will definitely come in handy for when I am learning but I definitely do learn best by like doing whatever it is I'm learning so I need someone to play with me please thank you for the information square I messed it up all right and then here is this actually I don't think came with my other one which is kind of weird but this is a um not a board what would it, oh, maybe it says it, it's like it's like where where you set up your cards and stuff your field no what what, what do you call this this is like the like <laughs> your card arena so like you have the damage zone you have the deck pile here you have a break zone this is like where you discard your piles and this is your field where you put your cards stuff but yeah <laughs> my um cloud and sephiroth box didn't come with this oh this has like a weird powdery feel to it i know it's like a really weird comment to make but like i don't like that this is like a nice smooth side and this is like someone put something on it but let me carefully fold that up all right how do i get you out of here okay and here she is here's our girl so let me find the the lift part. There's usually like a little. There we go. Uh oh, <laughs> that didn't. Oh no! <laughs> it's scuffed already. It's not a schled video, but it's not scuffed. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> One issue I had when opening my first starter deck was this. Look at that. I'm literally holding it by the top and the cards are like stuck together. So I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to carefully. <laughs> They're literally, literally unsticking. Oh my gosh. All right. So starting off, we have Minfilia as a backup. So the thing with FFTCG is that you can only have three of the same card, which you can tell by the number here, which this one says uh, 160. You can only have three of the same card in your deck when playing, so you only have three Minfilia's max in here. Oh, next is Yanda, my girl. Uh, she is a forward, of course she is. Of course my girl Yanda is a forward. Um, and 
it'll tell you what game all your characters are from. This is a fourteen deck, so most of our players or players, most of our characters should be from fourteen. Although they probably will mix in some other ones as well. Papa Limo, Papa Limo. Is it Limo or Limo? Oh gosh, I don't remember. But this is Papa. He is also a forward. They they look much better um, in person. Um, I can for the really nice cards. I'll use my nice camera to show you guys. Here is a minor. Oh, interesting. Minor is a backup. Um, this number in the corner shows you how many crystals you need to use in order to um, use their ability. Where's, where's my webcam? <laughs> this is a black, oh, that's a bell. <laughs> black belt. Uh, this guy is from, is that a three? That is a three. It's like Roxas. Hello, Roxas. You're from Kingdom Hearts, sir. This is an invoker, also from three. These guys, oh, the black belt was a forward. The evoker is a backup. A dark, no way! This is actually really cool. This is a dark knight, he's a forward, heck yeah. From 14, this is one of the jobs you can play in 14. Um, ooh, is there gonna be a machinist? <gasps> I will freak, I will be so excited if there's a machinist. That's my main job. So I would love to have a machinist in here. Here's a monk. Oh gosh, this pile is looking nasty. A monk is a backup. Also from 14, this is At Atomos, 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 I think it's Atomos, like that. Uh, this is from DFF9. What's DFF9? I, I played 9, I don't know what the DFF part is. I have no idea, but this is a summon, so like Shiva or Ifudi or something like that. What's the DFF part though? <laughs> All right, this is a Pugilist or a Pug, also another job in 14. Same with the Monk, that was also a job I forgot to mention. That's so cool that they do the jobs. Like that, I love that. I, I thought it would just be all characters. This is a Benga Thief from uh, Theater Rhythm 12. I, I recognize these guys from 12. Well, not this color situation, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we have a couple of these. And, oh, she's our girl, Alice, who I also guess isn't always well like. I don't, I like her. She's strong and confident. We love her. She's a backup though. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You can be a backup. So she is a backup. Next is Elf Node. <gasps> Alpha Note, who's also a backup. Um, two twins in Final Fantasy XIV. Super duper lovely. We stand the twins in this household. And the next step I already saw is Orianje. I'm surprised Orianje's description doesn't go on for like ever, but that's fine. It's always needs to be, you know, on brand or whatever. But we have Orianje, who's a forward. And then here we have a Ravenger, who is from FFTA2. I don't know what TA is. I want to say like tactics, but like, I think it would say tactics. I don't think it would say TA2. No idea. This is a Dragoon, but this is the obviously three Dragoon. So it's a little my chibi and not the actual job of Dragoon. Super cute. I love these arts. I think they're really adorable. Ooh, hello, Grandpa. We have grandpa. I literally, I can't, my French pronunciation of stuff, as you know from my highlight video from the Puff Puff video. Yeah, uh, Louis, 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 something like that. I can't do French pronunciation. I'm so sorry to all my French people watching this video. Ooh, we have Odin. Odin is, his, wow. This design is actually really sick here. I like this design a lot. This is FFT, but he is a summon. Here we have a summoner, which is also a Final Fantasy XIV job, but they have the FFT version. This is tactics, right? I'm pretty sure FFT is tactics. What's TA then? Oh, I feel like I need to look all this up. Here, ooh, here we have the actual Dragoon, who is a forward from uh, 14. Um, when I first played Final Fantasy XIV, I actually chose Lancer, and 
Heavens. I had no idea what I was doing the uh, entire time when I was playing 14 back during Heaven's Ward. But yeah, this is actually technically like the first job I played as in 14 level class because I was never a dragoon. Here we have a ninja from Final Fantasy 3 who is a forward. And ooh, Yoman? Yoman. This is a monster um, from 13. Interesting. And now let's get into the opus uh packs i actually there's there's a trick to opening them i don't think i remember how to do it so um let's see if i could do it it's like weird i think you i should watch a video i don't want to screw it up i don't want to be a weenie i'm gonna commit i don't want to use scissors Sweet, I'm strong. The trick is different for Pokemon. I know the Pokemon. Four to the front. This one is. Is one, two, three, four. Then you take the fifth one and put it here. And then you do it. One, two, three, four. Fifth one goes second. Okay. Got it. Let's see if I screwed it up. I already actually saw a peek at this. We have a Cactar who is a monster. I love Cactars. I have a little baby one right here and I love you. So in our first pack, we have a Cactar. We have a Fall Fantasy 14 Red Mage. Ooh, love that. Big fan. Here we have a Chocobo who is a backup. Some Crystal Hunt. Interesting. Here we have Gujata. Ooh. That's sick! Uh, he's from Mobius 7. He is a summon. Next up, we have Ultros. I love this. He's technically from 6. Oh, but they have the theater rhythm version of him from 6. I'm actually playing through 6 for the first time. It's very good. Uh, he is a forward. <laughs> I love him. He's so funny. Uh, here we have Belle, who is from Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which I've also... Um, I got a review copy, but the online play was not so very good in my experience so it kind of stopped me from playing for a little bit which is kind of sad i should uh get back into it and finish it because i know a lot of people love crystal chronicles next up is vivi who is from nine this is the theater rhythm version uh vivi is a forward here oh i see the shiny <gasps> you have a carbuncle this is the nine carbuncle oh so freaking cute i love carbuncles Big fan of carbuncles. I have a carbuncle headband and hat and a plushie. And <laughs> carbuncles are so cute. I do typically like the more um, uh, fox-like designs, though. So this one's really cute. A little too, like, manly down here, but, like, you know, cute nonetheless. <gasps> okay. All right. Say what you will about 15. He's hot as heck. All right. So <laughs> here we have Noctis from 15. He's a forward. Oh. <gasps> Oh, uh, that's so exciting. He allows for two different elements um, to be used. So that's really cool. Oh, next is Iris, also from 15. Would you look at that? Hi, Iris, you annoying little poop. Uh, she is a forward. And here we have our uh, hollow, as they say, of a blue mage. This is from Final Fantasy. Oh, crap. What's, what's the E? I know it in my head, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. You know bring it from here to here i'm sorry but the blue mage is a backup and last is go gawain gawain from bomb fancy l i don't even know what the l is um but these are two fancy cards i will do a nice close-up of this one because this one is foiled but you of course can't really see it all that well um but yeah these are two fancy schmancy cards that was probably bothering someone the entire time oh and this oh gosh uh, i'm so scuffed this is so scuffed so here is our last pack that we have for today i didn't get that many because like i said oh gosh i it's a lot of money this is a lot of, the, the tcg is not like a cheap thing to like get into so i don't really plan on buying a lot of packs like this um i want to but i kind of don't have you know the money to just splurge into whatever i want so yeah <laughs> oh my gosh we have riku we have freaking riku of all characters um <laughs> it's funny because i get compared to riku a little bit um <laughs> I like 
like her. I think she's really cute, but <laughs> this one's funny. Oh gosh. Okay, so we have Riku from Isaac 10. She is a forward. Next we have a white maid from 15. And of course, it's a backup. Next up is Freya. Heck yeah. We have Freya, who is a forward, and Freya is in Final Fantasy 9. Super, one of the best Final Fantasy games, in my opinion. So I highly recommend playing 9 if you haven't already. Next up is a Mimic. Oh my gosh, I remember these awful things. These are also from 9, and Mimic is a monster. Next up is Soul from FEL. I don't know what that would even stand for, to be honest. Um, we have Soul. Next up is a Black Mage. I'm like dropping this. I'm sorry. Next up is a Black Mage from obviously 14. So many 14 cards. I love that. Um, who is a backup. Next is another Monk. This is our second Monk. But this card is not the same as... As I was talking about earlier, you can only use... Uh, one, uh, three, you can only have three of the same cards in your deck while playing, but this one says it is a, a 070 card, and this one is 089. So they're two different cards. You could technically have three of this card and three of this card. Just want to point that out real quick that despite them both being bunks, they are technically two different cards. All right. Next up is Lani. I don't, I don't remember you from nine. I don't remember. Is Lonnie part of the crew in like the beginning? I think Lonnie might be from the crew in the beginning. Uh, Lonnie is from nine and Lonnie is a forward. <gasps> I see a little bit of shy. <laughs> this is a Furian or fi Firian. Uh, this is like, uh, what would you say? Firian? Really cool design. This is probably a design from like Dissidia. I always want to say Dissidia. So that's how they pronounce it in Japan, but this looks like a design from Dissidia. I'm not sure if it is though. It, this character is technically from two, but uh, Fireon is a backup. Next is Vayne from Final Fantasy 12, which I actually haven't played. I would like to. Vayne is a forward. Here's our <gasps> beautiful shiny card. So we actually already pulled Vivi, but we pulled like a non-hollow VB somewhere in the pile. I'll get it out and compare it later. But this one's, oh, look at that. It's so cute. I love the theater rhythm design a lot. I think it's really cute. And our last card is Omia from Eleven. I actually haven't played Eleven. I know a lot of uh, 14 players uh, used to play Eleven, but I'm, that was not in my day. I was a little too young, but oh, she's a bard. How cute. But yeah, these are the fancy cards. I'll do nice close-ups uh, throughout the video as well so you guys can see and read it properly. But yeah, these were my polls. Oh my goodness, I didn't hold it up for a freaking thumbnail. Oh, that's so sad. Schleb. I didn't hold these up for a thumbnail. I forgot to do the thumbnail. Well, what am I going to do for a thumbnail? <laughs> Just hold up the scuffed version. <laughs> I guess I could. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I would appreciate it if you did enjoy that you would like and maybe subscribe. I do a lot of streaming content on here. I pull a lot of my stream stuff and bring it onto YouTube. I do a lot of first reactions to different games that I really love, like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. And I want to really get into FFTCG. So if you want to follow my journey with that, then please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I would love to see uh, you in my next video and if you are into ftcg let me know about your journey to playing down below like how you got into it and you know all the good stuff that you want to share many tournaments that you've been in and won mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your best card mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye